In other local news tonight, Temple Beth Israel is dedicating a historical marker outside of the building on Cherry Street. The building and the congregation go back more than 100 years. 41 NBC's Ariel Schiller tells us how the marker will help educate people on the temple's history. Temple Beth Israel was established as a congregation in Macon in 1859 by German immigrants. The building it currently sits in was built in 1902. According to Lawrence Mink, immediate past president for the temple, they decided to put up a historical marker two years ago. And a lot of people walk by the building and don't know what it is. So we said, why don't we find a marker, a historical marker, and this gentleman from Florida named Jerry Klinger uh, with the Jewish American Historical Society said, we'll put it up for you. Rabbi Elizabeth Bahar joined the congregation in July of 2020. She says the temple had several different locations along Cherry Street before settling in the building they're in now. She says the historical marker will help people understand who they are and their contributions to the community. The Jewish community in Macon goes back all the way to when they were hoop skirts and beaver hats. Like it's, it's been here as a positive presence um, for quite some time, helping when Macon was established as a place for immigrants, really ensuring that there was a tremendous amount of, of capacity for people to not just adjust themselves to the a manufacturing economy, but also maintain themselves in the agrarian economy. The marker was donated by the Jewish American Society for Historic Preservation. Mink says the temple is the oldest Jewish temple in middle Georgia. He hopes the marker will educate people about the temple's history. Personally, it's important to me as a member, and I won't be here forever, but I'll be able to say we helped put that monument out front. So for ge future generations, they'll be driving by. They'll say, let's stop and take a look at what that's all about. Rabbi Bahar hopes the temple can continue to honor their past while embracing the future. She says there's value in joining a sacred community. Sometimes I think that our souls can find ourselves in an arid environment and finding ourselves back in a sacred space can nourish and water our parched souls. In Macon, Ariel Schiller, 41 NBC News. The marker was actually placed where it is now about two years ago, but the pandemic delayed the dedication ceremony. You can visit the marker for yourself outside of Temple Beth Israel at the corner of Cherry and Spring Streets.